Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're gonna be bringing it back to the roots, man. This is going to be a fresh and easy tutorial showing you how to clean your sneakers. First of all, if you're new to the channel, I'm Alex. I go by the name of Sneakerhead in the Bay here on YouTube. And if you're already subscribed to the channel, welcome back, baby. Which reminds me, if you don't have your post notifications on yet, make sure to hit that bell so y'all are notified when the next video drops. But yeah, man, today we're gonna be taking a look at a dirty pair of Wave Runners. My homie CJ hit a couple concerts in these and they are straight thrashed. I thought it would be a great idea to show you guys how to clean sneakers on this specific pair because there's a variety of materials on this pair. We got mesh, we got suede, we got leather, we got boost. We basically have everything encompassed in this shoe. So with that being said, you already know what time it is. It's time to sit back, relax, and eat snacks. Let's go. I just get it cash and did it dash all on the way. I might keep that 40 and it's hold up on my head. I might steal that shawty if she all up on my shit I might just be trapping at a stew with all my jits I just keep that Glock up in my pocket and it hit I like getting money, get the profits, then I did I might take off in a fucking rocket, ain't no jet Ain't it so damn funny how they flock up when you so for today's video, we're gonna be using a few items, so let's get into this materials list. The main components of this whole tutorial is going to stem from the Angelus Easy Cleaner bottle and the all-purpose foam cleaner. Angelus Direct sells amazing products that are slept on, guys. You honestly get the greatest value and the best price with Angelus, so I'll have their links down below in the description. I really dig their cleaners because they work on basically every single material, so you won't damage anything when you're using this on your sneakers. It could also serve different purposes, such as cleaning clothes, cleaning couches, cleaning chairs, whatever you guys need to clean, Angelus Cleaner got you. If you're wondering why I have such a big bottle, it's because I use it so much, man. So I went ahead and copped the big boy version. Other than the cleaners, we're going to be using some clean rags. We're going to use a little container to pour the cleaner in, a soft bristle brush, which can also be found at Agilus Direct, and some gloves, which is completely optional. Whenever I do a deep clean on shoes, I always take off the laces, so that's going to be the first step. Take it off. So the very next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our soft bristle brush and we are slowly going to just brush off the surface. What this does is it kicks off all the dirt, all the grime, whatever is on top that's just barely sitting on the shoe and it gets rid of all of that. So, as you guys can see, the shoe's getting a lot cleaner already. From first appearance, you might think that the shoe is really dirty and you think that, you know, you gotta do all this crazy stuff to it. But sometimes just a quick dusting can actually clean the shoe entirely. I mean, check it out right here with the tongue. Just a couple of swipes real quick. I'm not even adding a lot of pressure. It's just boom, boom, boom. And look at that dirt just come right off. And here's a little example on some suede. If you guys think suede is dirty, hit it with the brush one time and see what happens. Look at that. Clean, 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 clean. So fresh and so clean, clean. I'm telling you guys, I didn't start brushing off kicks until recently, man, and I feel like brushing off shoes is the best way to get rid of that dirt. Whenever you have cleaner and you have some old dirt, dust, whatever it is, it basically makes the surface all muddy, so you don't want that. Brush it down and you'll be good to go. Now the customer didn't want the bottoms clean, but I thought it would be a cool thing to do just to ensure that everything is all nice when he receives the sneaker. I went the extra mile with this one. I know he's gonna wear it again. He's probably gonna thrash it again anyways, but I wanted to go ahead and hit it with the foam cleaner to just make everything look nice and clean and to show you guys how to clean the bottoms if you really wanna do it. So we're gonna be using the hard bristle brush that the cleaner comes with, and we're just gonna be rubbing down the shoe. Very self-explanatory. When you're done, you could go ahead and hit it with a rag or whatever you guys have, and then just repeat the steps until you're satisfied with the product then what a crazy ride they can't prep you for nine years they couldn't prep me more release forms and all they said it wasn't safe even the buckles broke it never question face no. the room was silent think it's time to leave my stomach drop i feel the energy i cut my soulmate off so that my heart could breathe yeah yeah it's all been celebration all sacrifice i checked the mirror i don't know that man and i don't recognize him in his newfound life no yeah all these tendencies that you can hate me for Enemies successfully forgotten 
reality that you may thank me for I see potential for these specific midsoles we're going to be using the foam cleaner but we're not going to be using the hard bristle brush I only recommend using the hard bristle brush for midsoles that aren't painted and if I'm not mistaken I believe these wave runners have some paint on the midsoles being that some spots were a little bit patchy not because of dirt so just taking full precaution i just went ahead and hit it with the microfiber towel just to make sure i don't rip off any paint with any hard bristle brushes a soft bristle brush will work fine in this but at the same time this rag was doing its thing so i believe that it worked out perfectly these days it's been so hard chasing and dreaming and being pushed so far these days for the uppers, we're going to be using Agilis Easy Cleaner. I like to use this on uppers, and I like to delicately just work in circles, man. Just work it in, let that thing lather up, make it look all soapy and nice, and you could tell the cleaner is doing its job. For areas that are a little bit more delicate, such as suede, I don't recommend just pressing into the shoe. Just lightly glide over it. That's all it needs. The cleaner is going to do the job, and it's going to clean up the shoe for you. You don't need to add a whole bunch of pressure to it. Same thing goes for mesh because you don't want it to fray up and look all ugly. Just stress, I've been working like I own my fam. It's more than this than just to talk to fans. It's more than this than just dropping work. Turn to a paramedic when I hit the gram. They spill their problems. So we're just going to continue this for the entire shoe to get all of the grime that is hidden underneath the mesh, the suede, and under all the other materials that we got going on. Spill their problems, no, I can't relate. I want to tell them they're going to be all right. But honestly, I'm bombarded daily. Could read every word, I still don't know they like. These days it's been so hard Chasing and dreaming and being pushed so far These days you're on my mind But I'm alright These days it's been so hard Chasing and dreaming and being pushed so far And if you guys are wondering how to clean laces, this is exactly what you do. You go to your sink, turn on a little bit of cold water. You don't want to use warm water because warm water sets stains. So use cold water, use a little bit of hand soap, rub it in just like you're washing your hands and just keep repeating the process until the laces are clean. This is honestly one of the most easiest ways to clean your laces and one of the most effective. So that's why I choose this specific process. Here's a quick tip. If y'all want to learn how to dry your laces super quick, get your microfiber that's dry and then run it through there real quick, just pinching it. And that is how you squeeze all of the juices out. It sounded dirty. But yeah, look at those laces. Woo! Fire, baby. I just bought the finish, bitch. See my sauce, I let it drip. You all talk, you, you ain't shit. We got trappers come correct. Hella ops all on my dick. They want see me fall, I can't. Not until a hundred bands. I'm a fucker through a pants. She won't fuck me because I'm better. Spilt the lean all on the jeans. You want pressure, it's no effort. Spent that rack all on the sweater. It's how good, it's so clear weather. It's how good, it's so clear weather. It's how good, it's so clear weather. All right, everybody. It is the very next day now, so the shoe is completely dry. And I'm not sure how well you could tell from the video, but basically the suede is a little bit more stiff than it was before. Before, it was nice and soft. So... A lot of people believe that you know their cleaners messed up the suede it wasn't supposed to make it hard well that's not the case suede is not really meant to get super wet and if you guys leave it like this then it's gonna be hard so a quick tip that I want to give you guys is to just hit it with a little suede brush I got this one from Angelus direct so I'll have that link down below in the description to the website and it comes with this a little suede eraser I would also recommend hitting it with some mink oil mink oil basically waterproofs this it makes it a lot softer it gives the moisture it needs to make it soft again so I'm gonna show you guys a quick tip on how to make your suede soft what I like to do is I take this suede brush barely hit the top and I comb it one way so let's start it out so I'm basically pushing up this way so all the suede is going up here so it's almost like combing your hair now all you got to do is you're gonna take your mink oil you're gonna spray it and then I would comb down
just make sure you don't oversaturate this because you know it is an oil so you don't want too much of it so I'm gonna brush it down now And if you guys are worried about the color, the color evens out as the oil dries, so don't even worry about that. And now the suede is a lot more soft. I'm gonna let that dry, but I'm gonna hit the other parts, such as, you know, the black areas up here. Even though this is a little bit more soft, I'm still gonna hit it with the mink oil just because I like to do that. I also feel another good demonstration is this suede back here. The suede is nice and hard. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that. Pretty hard. Brush it out. Spray it up. Brush it back again. And now it's nice and soft. So much better and just to show you guys the difference the left side has been treated with the mink oil and the brushing and then the right side has not been treated at all you can see that the right side is a lot darker what the brushing does is it makes the suede the same color that it was before so it will lighten it sometimes whenever you wash suede it just alters the color a little bit when you hit it with the mink oil and the brush it'll bring the color back to life bring it back to what the original shoe was so there you guys have it the mink oil and suede quick tip of the day that's about it for this video guys if y'all liked it make sure to smash that like button subscribe if you're not subscribed already because i got more content and tutorials coming soon i'll catch you guys in the very next video it's your boy sneakerhead in the bay have a beautiful day i'm out peace